Amazon might be one of the best places to go to for just about anything you're looking for. Everything from electronics and devices, home improvement, home decor. They even have groceries and many other things. But my question is, what about sneakers? I mean, eBay was once what Amazon once was, before Amazon took off and was pretty much the main source for anybody in the world to buy whatever they need. It was eBay. And as we know, eBay had collectible items. It had everything from home improvement stuff as well. It had had music, it had electronics, and many more. But one thing eBay had on lock was sneakers. When I first started my collection, actually eBay is the reason why I'm here. Majority of all the shoes that I ever even owned was from eBay. So I decided to do something that a lot of people think is outside of the box. I bought the worst rated sneaker from Amazon. Hiya! Okay, man, I don't wanna waste too much time. We got the Amazon Prime box. Just to let y'all know, I'm not flaking. I'm not flexing. I didn't buy this shoe from another site trying to finesse it like it was Amazon. How many people in the comments right now have ever bought a sneaker from Amazon? I'm pretty sure none of us have. And I wanted to see, right? Because it's not like you can go on Amazon, at least not now, right? Who knows what it's gonna be like in like the next four or five years, the way Amazon is going crazy. But you can't buy Jordans, you can't buy Yeezys, like none of the shoes that I often review on the channel from Amazon. Honestly, I don't even know what's available on Amazon. The shoe that I got here is quote unquote the worst rated sneaker. And I wanted to see just how quirky and just how crazy it actually gets. This is what a sneaker from Amazon looks like. Okay, so the box is not even really a box. It's just a box. You don't see like no size and label on here. You don't see anything at all. Just kind of look like one of those Yeezy foam runner boxes, except it don't have nothing on it, just a sticker here and like a, a label, but this is the box for this shoe. I'm actually scared to open it now. God damn. This is really the box that my shoes come in? I have not never opened a box that ha didn't have a, it doesn't have a box, man. All right, let's lift this up. Let's see what we got, okay? And wow, it actually has a message on the box. Right here it says, okay, um, this item has been repackaged in a recyclable, frustration-free package because the original box was damaged in transit. I don't believe it, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think if y'all go and buy this sneaker, it will come in this box as well. This is not a replacement box. This is the box it came in, which is why this shoe is the worst rated shoe on Amazon. It didn't even give me a freaking box, bro. All right, here we have it. Bow, what you are now feasting your eyes on is the worst rated sneaker on Amazon. I bought these in a size 12, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is not a 12. It don't even have a sizing tag in the shoe. There is no sizing tag in the shoe to even see if it is a 12. And then the worst part about it, this is not an actual box. Usually the box will say 12 or whatever size it is. I don't even have the luxury of looking at the sneaker box to see what they send me. I have a lot of size 12s. This is definitely not one of them, bro. This is not a size 12. I actually wanna just compare it to a shoe that I noticed a 12 just to see the difference. Look at that, bro. That is a whole damn size difference, bro. Hold on, let me make sure they even. That's a whole size difference, bro. This is probably 11, okay? That is the difference between the 11 and the 12 right there. They are both at the bottom equally, okay? This is not, <laughs> hey man, Amazon, I can't, I, can't, I can't get frustrated, I can't get angry, because I knowingly bought a shoe that I know is the worst rated on Amazon, but damn, like already, right off the bat, we get a shoe without a box, not in the right size, with no size labeling on it at all. I ain't even get into the material or the or, or anything, bro. It's just bad already. Okay, so this sneaker is the Quinn Mock running sneaker, okay? And it's supposed to be a, a fashionable gym slash training shoe from Amazon. And here we have it. We kind of get like this weird, uh, fiery design on the midsole, okay? So it looks a little like, like, like it got a little bit of athleticism to the midsole a little bit. It's like a all mesh upper, which is kind of cool, white and red, and we kind of get the flames on the side of the sneaker as well. This is also my first time not getting the shoe that's not factory laced at all. Usually it got some type of factory lace. This is just like a nigga tried them on and then put them in a the box, bro. Look at this. Let somebody try these on. You know how you like, Get your shoes, you feel me? You unlace them like this, you get them right, and then you try your, then you try to put the feet in the shoe to see if it's working or not, and then you just put them back. Just to give y'all a little bit more insight on how bad the sneaker is, I took the liberty of taking some of the reviews I've seen from this shoe, and it reads such as. Joey Gerhardt gave it one star and said, the bottom of the sole is already coming apart after two weeks. 
Jesus Christ, two weeks is crazy. The shoe didn't even last a month before the soles started to come apart. See the photo. I got them on December 7th, wore them for about two weeks total, and the soles are already tearing apart. They're not worth the money I spent. I literally wore the shoes 12 times. So pretty much you tell me after I wear these like five times, the soles is gonna come apart, bro. How long did it even take to put this shoe together? Susan said, not what I expected. She also bought a size 12, which is kind of funny, because I bought a size 12, and it's not in women's sizes either. It says a men's sneaker. Bought those for my son. He tried them on and said that they were very uncomfortable. We'll be returning. Uh, maybe, maybe I need to return as well. And said, hyped, overrated, and cheaply made. Lightly, cheaply made. If under 180 pounds, maybe you'll feel some cushion. But if you're over, that does not seem to be the case in any cushion effect. These are half the price of any brands, but that you will get what you pay for it. It low key matched my fit too. You know what I'm saying? It matched my fit. I just wanna try these on to see if they fit because I know for a fact it's not a 12. I already did like the size check, bro. I know it's not a 12. Let me put this on. Not a 12 at all, bro. My feet is busting out the seams, bro. It feel like I, it feel like, you know, you ever open up a pack of biscuits, bro? And like literally as soon as you take the wrapper off and start busting out the sides, this is not a size 12 at all. When you look at the outer sole, it's all red. Kind of gives like that number eight effect, which is kind of cool. Um, I guess this traction or the outer sole was supposed to be meant for runners. It's supposed to meant to be for an athletic shoe, but as read in the reviews, it doesn't give you an athletic feel at all. I do like the fact that they try to add some flavor to the midsole by making it look like some running flames. The problem is whenever you try to go with this approach and make the midsole look different, you also put the shoe at risk to be very uncomfortable. The more you do with the midsole, the more danger you put on the actual comfort of the shoe, which sucks because if it's a running shoe, then how can you run in some shoes that feel like bricks? It's very uncomfortable. Due to how uncomfortable people say the shoe is, I have to give them some type of credit because the upper is completely all mesh and it is very light. I think the uncomfortability solely comes from the midsole and the outer sole because it's terrible. It kind of reminds me of the John Wall rezig they tried to do. Main reason is that zigzag design is on the midsole was super uncomfortable. And like I said, anytime you try to do anything extra, you put comfort at risk and that's easily what this sneaker did. The color is pretty cool though all white with the red they even got like the multi lace this white and red lace and that's pretty much it it doesn't really have any support at all very cheaply made and i think i bought these for a total of like 45 dollars so even though it is cheap i do not think that this is an option at all and i will be probably trying to get my bread back because even though it's only 45 dollars i need my bread back man I can't even put this shoe on if I wanted to. I don't even know what to do with this. Matter of fact, hey, look, bro, if you want these shoes, comment down below. Matter of fact, hit me up on IG and I'll ship these to you, bro. They're yours to have. Maybe you can cut some grass in them. Maybe you could uh, do whatever. I don't know. They just need to get out of my hands. That's all I know. Amazon might be available for a lot of things, man. They might be available to get you a, a fire stick, an Alexa, a plasma screen, a whole surround sound for your living room. but. They cannot deliver you a sneaker, especially not this one. Not this you at all. Trust me, trust my words, this is not the one, okay? This, this is not what you want. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They all linked down below. And until next time, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but really putting in that work, though. Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.